Did you know you can buy a new house? I mean like a brand new house, nobody's ever lived in it. Like you don't have to wait nine months for the building process to all take shape. You don't have to check on the contractors and go over there once a week and all that kind of thing. Today, we're gonna walk through a brand new house and it's available right now. Follow me now. I'm standing in front of 15804 Wiseman Drive. This is uh, built by David Weekly Homes and it is in the Grantham community in Fishers, Indiana. David Weekly Homes started in 1976. They've built over 120,000 homes in 13 states. And surprisingly, they're still privately owned. This home is uh, listed by David Weekly Homes, but uh, FYI, I can help you with any house in the state, regardless of who lists it, whether it's myself or another realtor, or even if it's a FISBO. Uh, this one is 2,629 square feet. It's got a three car attached garage. I think you're really gonna like some of the features inside. Let's go see what it looks like. Got a nice uh, front porch here. See what it looks like inside. Nice big entryway. You gotta love the extra tray ceiling. But hey, there's 10 foot ceilings throughout. Immediately off to the right is a very nice office or den situation. I mean, you could use it for something else too if you wanted. Um, even convert it to a bedroom for that matter. But uh, it's got the French doors, which is a nice touch. It's good size. It's got a lot of good natural light, which is something you're gonna see in this house. Right uh, off uh, the hallway here is a uh, coat closet and a powder room. And if we go left here, you've got a nice, uh, really nice bench situation for boots and book bags and coats and mittens and all those things. You also have your laundry room right here. You've got your water heater back in behind here. All convenient. Furnace. And all this is right off your three car attached garage. Nice. So everything's convenient here from a mudroom standpoint. You gotta like that. Okay, that brings us into the main living area. The first thing you notice, uh, besides the 10 and 11 foot ceilings, is just a ton of natural light. You've got this great big island here, and it looks out over your gathering room. And even though you have all these windows, there's still plenty of room on the walls for TV, pictures, paintings, that type of thing. It's good size. Your dining area is right here, so it's really convenient from a serving standpoint and everything's open. Got a covered patio, gotta like that. Makes it convenient from a grilling standpoint. You can set your grill up and you can bring your food right in here onto the dining room table or onto the kitchen island. Kitchen has a nice overhang on it, so you can easily put four stools there. You've got quite a bit of cabinet space. You have cabinet space under the island. You got the architectural cabinets, which I like. Soft closed cabinet doors. Refrigerator goes there. Stainless steel appliances across the board, microwave, dishwasher, nice backsplash. You got the hood fan. You got a gas range, which I like. Um, once people uh, cook on gas ranges, they rarely go back to electric. And you got a double oven. Gotta like that too. And we've got a really good size pantry that's well laid out. Okay, let's see what the bedrooms look like. Okay, we've got bedroom number two. Decent enough size closet. 
in bedroom number three. Bedrooms are carpeted, which is nice. In between these two bedrooms is this bathroom with a double vanity. And it also has a private door into the commode and shower. So two people can be using this at the same time. And then right outside that is what they call a retreat room. And this could be, it's kind of like having a loft on the main level since this is a ranch. It's all on one le level. So this is kind of like having the loft downstairs on the main level. Um, you could use it for any number of things. I mean, it could be a, a, a study, it could be desk, it could be a TV room, it could be a game room, you could have a ping pong or a pool table. Um, it could be a workout room, uh, a second home office. It just gives you a lot of options um, to, from a use standpoint and great space. And now if you come over here, We've got the master. And I think you're gonna like this a lot. It is large. It has great natural light. It's got the vaulted ceiling, but there's just a ton of space in here. Plenty of room for whatever furniture you want or don't. Okay, bathroom. Got a linen closet right inside. You have uh, a nice double vanity, L-shaped uh, granite countertops here. You gotta love the two windows in the corner. Private commode room. Good size walk-in closet, nicely laid out. And then you have the big deluxe shower. Nicely tiled, soap tray. Personally, I'd go to the extra and put in a, uh, a seat or a step. You could do that even now, not a big deal. But uh, nice master bedroom, bathroom situation. I just really like those windows. Okay, take one more look at this gathering room. I mean, this is where you're going to live. So a lot of really uh, nice features in this ranch home. Fabulous master bedroom ensuite, great natural lighting, 10 foot ceilings and a three car garage. All this for a ticket price of $539,990. These quick move in homes are, are great because, you know, building otherwise means, uh, you know, anywhere from a six to a nine month ordeal. And people, that turns a lot of people away from building new. But with the uh, quick move in homes, heck, you can be in today or 30, 60, 90 days from now. So this one's ready to go. If you'd like to see it or any of the others, just give me a quick call or text. And uh, now let's go walk by some of the other quick move in homes. And in front of 15793 Wiseman Drive, this one is a three bedroom, three full bath. It's got 2,446 square feet. It has that three car garage. And the ticket on this one is $549,990 on all contracts signed before uh, March 31st. Going to take a walk down the street here and just kind of look at some of the houses that uh, uh, they have completed. And we'll take a look at another quick move in uh, further down the street. You know, I started as a contractor working on projects like this, pounding nails and running crews. And uh, later I was a construction lender. And what that means for you is that I've got a ton of experience in this type of work with this type of real estate that many uh, realtors just do not. So I can recognize problems that others don't even know that are, are there at all. And I've, it's not my first rodeo, so I can solve these problems. And maybe more importantly, I'm the only person in the entire transaction who by law 
must represent you and your best interest. So, hey, I can be a difference maker. I can be your advocate and that's my job. The typical construction con or a typical contract on an existing house is like um, eight pages. On a new construction build, it's like 40 or 50 pages, maybe more. So, hey, you don't know what you don't know. And my job is to help guide you through that process and to help take care of whatever fires pop up. I was at a um, meeting yesterday morning or a workshop, whatever you want to call it. And a couple of builder reps were there and, you know, they made the point. This is a human business, a people business. So, hey, stuff's going to happen. There's just a lot of moving parts to building a new home and things are going to pop up, whatever they might be. You hope they're nothing major, um, but hey, they, stuff does happen. And I'm here to help you when that does happen. Um, you know, one time uh, many years ago, I was doing a construction loan out in Colorado and the builder built the house over the property line. Can you imagine that? I mean, it was out in the woods and stuff, but my Lord. So that was a tough one to solve, but hey, we got it done. I don't want those types of things to happen to you. So that's why I have my checklist and we can work through them. There's good reason why over half of my business comes from repeat customers. I work harder to make good things happen. So before you go walk through uh, model homes, give me a call, I'll get you registered and uh, we'll take care of you. Okay, let's take a look at this next quick move in. We're in front of 15841 Wiseman Drive now. This one's uh, not quite as far along. They're, uh, it's like they're getting ready to run mechanicals or maybe they are running mechanicals inside, getting ready to uh, put the siding on here shortly. This one is a four bedroom, three bath. It's 2,446 square feet over a 1,393 square foot basement. So you've got about what, 38, 3,900 square, almost 4,000 for 620,165. Uh, for all contracts written before March 31st. Now, if you'd like to build from scratch, uh, it's about a six or eight month process, but you get $50,000 in incentives. That's pretty crazy. So that can really make a huge difference in the options that you want, where you can really deck the house uh, out the way you'd like. So six to eight months, but that gives you time to get ready for selling. And uh, then we can get it sold for you for the best price and the quickest time and with the least hassle. And hey, if you're undecided about uh, whether you need to buy first or sell first or however you need to sort that out, got a lot of experience with that and be glad to talk through all the pros and cons. And I've got some tools from a financing standpoint that can help with uh, some bridge financing that can make life a whole lot easier for you um, that you may not be aware of. So this project is, um, about a third of the way through. There are quite a few lots remaining, but hey, good lots are like good houses. They go fast. So if you are interested, uh, why don't we set up a time to take a look? Um, just give me a quick call or text and uh, we'll get it lined up for you. By the way, we offer a free room by room analysis. Uh, there's no cost or obligation and I'll walk through the house with you. You can tell me some of your thoughts on what you might want to do to get it ready or, or things you don't want to do to get it ready. And I can give you ideas on how to make money and I can give you ideas on how to save money by not doing things that won't add to your bottom line. Running out of daylight, but I want to give you an overview of everything there is, all the amenities all around the Grantham in Fishers, Indiana. We're located out here on the far east edge of Fishers but there's a lot of growth that's taken place all out here. But first of all, let's just talk about access. You're four minutes to the I inter I-69 interchange, and that will take you all the way down to the Beltway 465, which will take you anywhere in the metro area you wanna go. It's also only about, oh, less than 10 minutes to State Road 37. That runs straight down into 465. In fact, will take you all the way downtown Indianapolis in about 40 minutes. Okay, um, let's talk jobs. All along 69, you'll find, oh, distribution centers, 
um, down 37 and down in this corridor here you'll find uh, up here you'll find manufacturing down here you'll find more financial services you got form credit union freedom mortgage uh, the student loan servicers then down here you've got roche diagnostics a fortune 500 company you have all kinds of retail and office work throughout all of this area and plus a lot of healthcare jobs and a lot of education jobs as well. Speaking of education, let's talk schools. The schools couldn't be much closer and they couldn't be much better. You have Southeastern Elementary School here, less than a mile. You have the intermediate school and the junior high school walking distance. And the high school is three minutes. They're all rated A by niche.com. In fact, the entire school system, Hamilton Southeastern School System, is ranked number eight in the state out of 290 school systems. So that puts it in like what, the top 3%? It's pretty darn good. Your Catholic school and private school uh, options are a little further away. You're gonna have to drive a little bit, maybe a half hour. Uh, the Heritage Christian School down here on the Beltway is probably a little bit closer, more like 20 minutes. Uh, and then there's a number of private schools, non-denominational or whatever, um, scattered around. Okay, let's talk hospitals and medical care. These orange H's are hospitals and ERs. There's a lot of them around. This one is maybe a mile. Um, that's a Saint, Ascension St. Vincent system. Then you have the community system here and down here. You have um, the IU Health at the Saxony Village. You've got uh, Riverview here and here. You've got a lot of hospitals all within anywhere from five minutes to oh, a half an hour at the most. Um, around those hospitals tend to be a lot of medical facility buildings like orthopedics and um, specialty dot physicians and surgery centers and all of that kind of thing. So a lot of uh, medical services as well as job opportunities in that way. Scattered throughout this entire area is just a ton of things to do. There's all kinds of entertainment. Uh, let's talk music for a second. You can go to the Nickel Plate Amphitheater right downtown Fishers, uh, less than a half an hour. You can go to uh, the Events Center, which is an 8,500 seat facility that'll be completed this uh, coming uh, winter. It'll be host to the uh, Indy Fuel minor league hockey team, and they'll have all sorts of music concerts and sporting events and what have you there as well. Up here at Connor Prairie, you've got Symphony on the Prairie, I'm gonna take you through some of these later uh, in the video and show you what they are and kind of what they offer, maybe some of their uh, schedule of performances for the coming year. Because up here at Ruoff, this is the, the gym in Indiana and it couldn't be any closer. When you pull out of that parking lot, and I'll tell you how, how a little bit later, how you can get out of there just in no time flat, you're home in less than five minutes. Now that's when you can get out of a concert and you can be at home within five minutes of getting out of the parking lot and five minutes traveling home that makes for a good night in my book okay all sorts of parks throughout uh fishers we'll deal with that on a on another video but down here you have geist reservoir which has a park and a lot of opportunities boat launching ramps and you can go out there and boat around look at all the multi-million dollar homes and it's a great bass fishing lake as well okay going to take a look at some golf courses uh, a little bit later in the video uh two of the best in the city are right over here and there's also top golf uh, which is a lot of fun these uh purple areas are shopping and restaurants now Five minutes away is Hamilton Town Center. It's an open air mall. It's got some great restaurants. I'll point out, uh, uh, take you by a couple of my favorites and then down at the yard, which isn't a whole lot further away. Uh, that's maybe 12 minutes away. Um, that's another open air mall. And I'll take you by uh, three of my favorite restaurants uh, in the entire city here. Okay, that gives you an overview of all the amenities that there are in Fishers, Indiana and near the Grantham uh, community. Hey, if you'd like to learn more about real estate in Fishers, Indiana or new construction homes anywhere in the greater Indianapolis area, or maybe you just wanna walk through a house that uh, has got a for sale sign in front of it, text me or book a call. Considering moving to Fishers or the greater Indianapolis area, you might wanna pick up a copy of our relocation guide. 
Uh, my staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get yours below. Plate Amphitheater in Fishers, Indiana. This uh, facility seats 6,000 people, lawn style seating. They have a full slate of different kinds of music throughout the summertime and fall. Uh, something for everybody. One of the nice things is you can eat at one of the local uh, restaurants, come watch the show, enjoy it, and then go finish the night off at a local pub. Hey, this is a ticket you might want to score. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and uh, oh, the what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not gonna get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage and hey it's a good time it really is i know people that have like tickets for the whole season all 12 nights i usually make it out once maybe twice at the most but uh, hey i have a busy summer so but hey it is a good time okay let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream uh, let's go look at ruoff music center this is ruoff music center now it's february and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here, but at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people, and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even, and uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end, you catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot and you're another what two three five minutes home hey it's a great time i'm sitting outside the what will be the new fishers event center this is slated to open in december of 2024 it is a massive project it's uh 170 million dollars and will anchor a 550 million dollar project that oh will encompass this entire area with shops and restaurants and other fun things to do. This will be home to the Indy Fuel, which is a minor league hockey team uh, of the Chicago Blackhawks. And it'll they'll also host other sporting events, uh, including the uh, Fisher's Freight, which will be an indoor football league team that'll open, I believe, in 2025. Um, it will also host uh, music and comedy and theater and seat anywhere from 6,500 to 8,500 people. And this is all within walking distance of the yard. Get through here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants. And in the areas surrounding uh, as well. So tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places have you. You've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property and all of their restaurants are great.
you've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, uh, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting, make it kind of fun. Total wine for all your uh, beer and wine needs. You can't find it there. I'm not sure you can find it anywhere. Over here, you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. I'm gonna take a ride down this little street. Very walkable. You got an old Navy here. Lita, Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. It's a fun place to shop. More shopping than I can do. Through 21, finish line. American Eagle over here. Yeah, five guys. Yats. The Three Dog Bakery. My wife spends too much money there. Up on the corner here we have uh, Pies and Pints, pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it. We're getting ready to head into the yard and I wanted to stop just on the outskirts here. This is Portillo's and uh, I'm not a big fast food guy but this is a place I make exceptions for. When I was in high school uh, in Chicagoland these were little hot dog carts on the corner and we would go there at the end of the night and get a Chicago dog or an Italian sa uh, sausage sandwich or their big beef and uh, Boy, I think they're the best in the world. I like my uh, big beef with sweet peppers and I like it dipped. Try it. We're coming into the yard, which is a recent development, maybe in the last five years. Uh, lots of restaurants, uh, other shops as well. Uh, this is the Hamilton uh, County Tavern and Kitchen. It is a Hughes Culinary property. They are fabulous, all of them. Make a little right here on the cobblestone street. You've got uh, some upscale apartments up above, some different uh, types of shops like, uh, oh, uh, Hot Sauna and Athletic Annex. Over here you have Rise, which is an excellent uh, breakfast place. You have Kincaid's Meat Market, which uh, goes back for many, many decades. Some salons. You've got a winery. You've got Slapfish. You've got a Mexican cantina here on the corner. And right here you have one of my very favorites, which is San Giovese. It's one of the better Italian places around. They have good lasagna. They have maybe the best chicken parm in the entire city. Uh, over here you have Sun King Brewery. Uh, everybody loves their uh, cream ale. You've got the Test Kitchen. And then over here we have the Havana Cigar Lounge, if you're into that. And then the 1933 Lounge and the 101 Beer Pub. And there's a few others too. Um, the 1933 Lounge is interesting. It's another Hughes culinary uh, property. And you can notice up there on the sign, it says 1933 Lounge by St. Elmo. Well, St. Elmo is uh, the most 
famous steakhouse in the city. It opened in 1902. People from all over the country uh, eat there when they're in town. All the find all the celebrities and sportscasters and all of that. Um, it was named because uh, during the Prohibition years there was a speakeasy above St. Elmo's, and uh, so this property right here, the 1933 Lounge, is modeled after the uh, a speakeasy. My wife and I ate there the other night for Valentine's Day. It was great. They have to die for shrimp cocktail, uh, prime steaks, and I had a slab of prime rib that was just fabulous. Um, hey, it's something you might want to check out. Turning left into this first subdivision at Town & Country, you've got a Walmart and a Kohl's and some fast food places and Oh, uh, Rena Center, and just uh, a whole lot more. This has, you know, the usual array of uh, um, shops or stores. You got a lot of big box stores here Dollar Tree, Staples. You got a GameStop and a uh, Great Clips, GNC, just, you know, about whatever you want. And we're coming up here on a big Walmart. Got a White Castle there for your midnight dining pleasure. You got all the fast food outlets. You got a Steak and Shake, another bank. Jimmy John's and Starbucks. Over here we have Aldi's, which uh, seems to be hot right now. Another strip center. Subway, nail spas. And we're coming up on Pleasant Street. The uh, post office will be off to the left. You've got some county buildings. Now we're going to be into another strip center. You're looking at the back of Tractor Supply, another big box store. Kind of fun to go in there sometimes, even if you're not a farmer. We've got a Walgreens on the corner. It's Salvation Army Family Store. Hobby Lobby. Big Pet Supply Plus, another dentist, Aaron's Furniture, and you got the BMV. Always good to know where the BMV is. They actually run a um, pretty good operation. Uh, BMVs used to be atrocious in Indiana, but uh, lately, of uh, the last 10 years, have really come around. And now you've got an at home decorating superstar. Um, there's just so many places I could keep going and there's there's more uh, I'm gonna turn around and go on the other side of the road now and show you what's over there okay we're crossing back over uh, State Highway 37 and we're on Pleasant Street coming into a whole nother strip center T-Mobile another bank you've got uh, Kalo's uh, Jeep Chrysler Dodge over here okay we're coming up on Best Buy Seems I gotta go here all the time for something technical. It's usually a pain, not because of Best Buy, because maybe I don't know what I'm doing. At any rate, here's a Pet Smart. And it's just one big box store after another. We've got the Shoe Carnival. And then we've got Home Goods. Hey, and TJ Maxx now my kind of store and then you got a Ross and a Barnes and Noble so just one right after another and we're not done because we're coming up to some of the bigger ones we've got Meyer here there's a Meyer gas station across the street there's also a crew car wash over there if you're not from the area, you'll want to get to know Crew Car Wars. Great operation. I'm going to leave there, drive across the street, 
see if we can drive by the front of this door without having to stop and spend some money. And here we are at Lowe's. I spend enough here. I have not one, but two credit cards. Just teasing. One's for business, one's for house. And as we come out of here, there's still another couple stores. There's an LA Fitness, there's a big Goodwill store. Uh, they do have an open there. Uh, you don't see too many of those around here, but uh, Hey, there are just so many shopping opportunities along here. Hey, let's talk golf. Fishers has been ranked by one golf magazine or another as the number two most underrated golf community in the entire United States. So I asked uh, my stepson, Seve, and one of his former college teammates, which were the best golf courses in Fishers? And they both independently came up with the same two names, River Glen and Ironwood. We're gonna take a tour of both of them uh, in just a second here. It's a uh, breezy day in February, and uh, while it's pretty comfortable, the course is closed because it's wet right now, and they're trying to get it into shape. But uh, this course is really pretty. They call it uh, nature's course. It sits along the White River, and um, it is a really delightful course to play. I'm gonna walk around here and see what we can see. Got 18 holes here, plus a driving range. They have uh, men's, women's, and junior leagues. They also have a very nice large pool and pool memberships. Uh, they also have a lot of event space here. They do banquets. In fact, uh, years ago when I run a mortgage company, we used to do our uh, celebration uh, breakfast meetings here. Very nice. Uh, there's three memberships. There's a regular, a junior, and a family fun, which includes the pool. But just standing here, you can really see just how pretty this course is. Nice big deck up there to look out over all of this. Really beautiful. River Glen Country Club. Okay, I'm at Ironwood Golf Club in uh, Fishers, Indiana. And it is the end of February. And look at that parking lot. It is full of golfers out playing. How cool. They've got a driving range. Nice, lots of woods, water. And then over here, uh, they've got 27 hole course. Wines all over the place, very pretty. Good course to play on, well maintained. They uh, have a variety of leagues, uh, a full junior program with leagues, camps uh, for kids all the way from five and up. They've got uh, the driving range and lessons. And they have memberships for uh, singles, family, junior, senior, and young professionals. So take your pick. And then up there at the clubhouse, they also have some banquet facilities. This is uh, a course that if you move to Fishers, Indiana, you just might want to play. While we're talking golf, let's talk top golf. Uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon in February, and the parking lot still has a good number of cars, but this will fill up and uh, be crazy about half the time. Inside, they've got a hundred climate controlled bays. And this is more like going bowling than it is playing golf. I mean, you don't have to have your own clubs. It's like uh, when you go to the bowling alley and yeah, there's some people that walk in with all the official gear and they've got their own ball and bag and all that and shoes. But, uh, you know, the rest of us go in there, pick a ball out, stumble to the uh, lane and uh, throw it down there. Well, here at Top Golf. Um, it's kind of the same. You don't have to have your own clubs. Uh, there's no cost to rent them. Um, they have all sorts of events and you can see the base here from the outside and then uh, out there into a hitting area. The uh, balls are uh, high tech and they score for you. They do all kinds of events and games. And uh, one of the neat things is there's like a bar and a restaurant. There's 200 TV scattered throughout. And uh, there's even uh, fire pits up on top of the uh, rooftop terrace. So this is great for uh, old birthday parties and uh, other kinds of get togethers. Uh, companies uh, 
do outings here. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and you know, you get to hit a bucket of balls, and if you don't want to hit the whole bucket, somebody else will hit yours, and uh, you can sit down and drink. Hey, it's a good time one way or another. Hey, be sure to tune in every Tuesday. We uh, do a tour of new construction homes for sale. On Thursday, we take a look at existing homes uh, in their neighborhoods. Um, and then on Saturday, we do a segment on what it's like living in Indiana. So whether you're buying or selling, uh, remember, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you found this helpful, be sure to check out this next video. Watch it right now.